little bit about our cooperation with Langshan Hightech. It's uh, more than five years already, consolidated cooperation, covering different areas, such as engineering, testing, and vehicle evaluation and validation. Also covering different products like uh, design engineering, ADAS, the main topic of today, passive safety, MBH, homologation, and events. And this is one of the URX prototypes that we have been testing in, in Europe, in our facilities located in uh, close to Barcelona, in the other headquarters. And uh, right now you have a nicer one here, very close. And uh, the, just about the, the sensors, the car is equipped with a mono camera and a radar sensor integrated all together. And mainly to classify uh, other road users. Okay. So the idea is to, to explain a little bit more in detail what we have been seeing in the, in the video. Different scenarios uh, used during the development phase is a car to car, forward collision, and uh, autonomous emerging braking. Okay. Later on, I will call FCWAEV, car to pedestrian for FCWAEV, car to bicycle, and ACC, adaptive cruise control. So, uh, about this, this scenario, uh, we have the subject car and the target vehicle. Okay, at this moment, uh, the target vehicle is uh, stopped at 0 km per hour, and the subject vehicle for AEB functionality will be from 10 up to 50 kph, okay, and for the forward collision warning from 30 to 80 kph. So, in this scenario, the car to car stationary we can see that all the impacts from 0 to 50 were avoided for EEB as well as from 30 to 80 for the forward collision warning were avoided. Another scenario the same from 30 to 80 for the subject vehicle and at this moment the target vehicle is moving forward and we can see that for both functionalities AEB and FCW all the impacts were avoided at uh, all the uh, range of speeds. Another one, car-to-car -car braking. So this is a little bit uh, more complex scenario because we have four different configurations, different distance between vehicles, 12 meters up to 40 meters, and as well as the deceleration is from two to six meter a second, okay? About the results, we can say that for three of them, 40, uh, 2 and 6 uh, deceleration a meter uh, second, as well as uh, for 12, the short one, the impacts were avoided, but in some uh, from 10 kph, uh, 12 meters, 6 uh, meters per second deceleration, some impacts were, uh, were could not uh, be avoided. This doesn't mean that in uh, all the, the results, in this scenario, we are not possible to avoid. We mentioned because we had some impacts in this mo in this uh, scenario. This is why we should be uh, able to mention. But in other cases, a lot of times we're also avoided. Uh, another scenario: car to pedestrian from far side. In this case, is uh, the target is an adult pedestrian and uh, it's coming at 8 kph uh, from the left side far side, call it uh, officially, and the impact point should be co-synchronized at 50% of the width, that means in the middle of the car. So we can see here about the results that the impact was avoided up to speeds at uh, 30 kph, and in case, in some cases when we had some impacts, uh, the impact, the speed impact was reduced up to 50, 20 kph, between uh, 35 and 60. Another scenario, this is CPNA, car to pedestrian from near side. In that time, the, the pedestrian, the adult one, is coming from the right side at 5 kph. Two different configurations, 25 and 75. This is the point of synchronizing. 25 should be at uh, one fourth of the right side, at 75 at third, three fourths of the, of the bumper of the car, on, on say in the middle point and the speeds were from 20 to 60 kph. 
in that case, uh, we were able to uh, avoid the impacts for up to 55 kph for the 75 synchronization point and up to 40 for the 25% uh, synchronization. Impact speed uh, was, uh, when we had the impact, the, the speed was able to reduce up to 25 kilometers per hour, so it's quite uh, high. Another configuration, this is uh, with a child. It's uh, having two vehicles parked and a very, very low reaction time. I'd say that it's a very difficult scenario. And the speeds were from 20 kph to 60, and uh, the impacts were avoided at uh, speeds up to 35. And when we get some uh, impacts, the speed reduction was 50 to 20 kph. Uh, the, for the subject speeds within 40 and 60 as well. Another scenario, this is a car to pedestrian longitudinal adult. In that case, the target is an adult walking in the same direction as the car, as the subject car at 5 km per hour and the synchronization point is just in the middle of the car. Uh, speeds from 20 to 60 uh, we can say that uh, we are able to, uh, to avoid all the impacts in this uh, scenario. Another one now is uh, moving from uh, pedestrians to bicycles. The target is a bicycle and uh, it's uh, running at 15 km per hour and the synchronization point should be in the middle of the car and in the moment of the impact and the speed is 20 to 60. Uh, we can see that all the impacts subjected from 30 to 60 kph were avoided as well. Another uh, with a bicycle is uh, uh, moving at 15 kph, traveling at the same direction of the car, of the subject car, and the, the impact should be in the middle, between 25 and 60 km per hour, and we can say the same as before, the, the impacts were avoided at from 30 to 60 kph. Okay, this is uh, the scenarios that we were using uh, doing the validation in the, in the proving ground and the development. We can say that these uh, uh, scenarios are quite similar to our uh, Aero NCAP. And uh, as soon as the car was uh, enough mature, we moved the validation in the real conditions, we call it in the field operational test, FOTs, and the idea is to test the car in the real, in the real roads, so it could be city, highway, country, different scenarios, covering different uh, uh, weather conditions, environmental conditions, morning, afternoon, night, in order to test the car in different uh, possible scenarios. And the idea is to try to to see the desired activations, call it true positive, as well as uh, the desired ones, the false positives. Our main aim is to try to avoid the false positive because the idea of the functionalities is to try to avoid accidents, not to try to reproduce or produce accidents. So the most important thing here is to say that uh, we need to, to avoid the false positives. Okay? A total of uh, around 20,000 kilometers has been conducting uh, in Europe, in different countries, in different <clears throat> cities like Barcelona, Paris, Lyon, Milan, Vienna, Munich and Frankfurt. And uh, we can say that uh, uh, running in different uh, cities, we realize that uh, the, the system itself needs to be tuned because uh, the scenarios are different and uh, the, the system itself is learning. So we need to, to run as much as possible different environmental and scenarios possible. At the same time, another FOT was conducting here in Taiwan with a long mileage and is still keep running in uh, covering different cities like Taipei, Taichung and Kaohsiung. I don't know if I'm saying properly the pronunciation. And the idea is to keep working and uh, doing the system itself even more mature. I didn't mention, but also we were conducting some uh, mileage in uh, China, in Shanghai area and the surroundings. And it's, uh, once again, it's 
really nice to, to see how the system uh, it works in different areas. So it's nice to, to be able to, to tune these uh, functionalities in different countries. This is just to mention and to emphasize a little bit the, the different automation levels. We can say that we are not in the automated vehicle. Okay, we are. We need to emphasize that the functionalities that uh, we described before for the forward collision warning as well as for the emergency braking is uh, functionalities to avoid vehicle collisions as well as in case that we have uh, impacts to try to do this impact at the lower speed as possible. Okay, this doesn't mean, and I would like to emphasize and to stress this point, that the vehicle is uh, the responsible to do uh, the brake in case of emergency or the, to avoid uh, any obstacle because we are talking about functionalities that help us to avoid accidents, okay? So the message here is to, to say that we are the final responsibles for the safe operation of the vehicle, okay? This is not an autonomous car, so it's quite important to, to keep it in mind, okay? Related to adaptive cost control is more for comfort, okay, not for safety, but uh, it's also supporting the driver to reduce the workload and to stress. And uh, well, just for ending, I would like to emphasize again, this is a link from the Euro NCAP. Euro NCAP is a commission related to the safety and uh, well, in the other one is one of the, set, uh, seven, one of the seven laboratories that created. And uh, mainly the message here is once again to say that uh, these functionalities are to help us to avoid accidents, but they are not responsible we are responsible to avoid any accident, okay?